Welcome back, Guardians. Today we are doing the mission Lost Light for the Black Spindle. For reference on this, you have to do it when the Lost Light is specifically the heroic mission of the day. Or it will not work. I have tried several times because I did not know that. But the good news is with that, you can use a good, pretty good fire team. Basically, what I just skipped through right there is just you gotta run all the way to that place, kill this over here, and then work your way back through it running, and your entire fire team cannot die. A couple people can die, but somebody has to stay alive to make sure it works. I'm running in place right here waiting for the thing to start because I've done the same thing that you know you can run there. It's gone. Just but the good part about this is you'll see I know a lot of people will show those the spheres. I'm running through a bunch of taken right now. So you'll see my little route I take, so it's fairly simple, straightforward, don't stop. Uh, this was before I got my new right here that I recently got. But it really helps to have the no Taken uh, modifier that's for the guns or whatever where it does more damage to Taken because they were eating up our shields. They yes. could deal hey. massive damage to us. So. And right here is where I was talking about where you gotta grab the sphere or uh, what's it called? The uh... Tombstone, find something to do with the uh, opening the door. Basically, it's a key. That's all it is. So, here I'm killing some Taken. The first door, only one key. The second door has two keys. The third, you don't even need. But there's three keys to it. You can see me right here killing one. I think I might die, actually. Yeah, I died. <laughs> but. You'll notice I'm not playing with the same people in the same strike. I, this team I was with could not do it, couldn't do enough damage. They had a strategy, they didn't want to change their minds on the strategy. Using swords is okay. I didn't have an exotic sword, and that was their whole plan. It's basically people to have exotic swords to do this. Well, none of us had an exotic sword, so their plan didn't really work. But my team is over here failing. A little bit. They die quite a bit, so. There's a tombstone there, you can just ignore it. All you have to do is run straight over here to where Tannix strike starts. Which is not really that bad. And then you just run up here. This is when I was waiting for the team and all that. But you'll see right here where it cuts. Yeah. Yeah, it cut right there. Because if you can tell, I didn't realize that was there, but that's fine. How all my editing is a lot. There, there was a lot more footage here. But you have the 10 minutes to get through all this. So if you have taken drones, use your supers. Hopefully, you have teammates that uh, are running stuff so you can dip your super or you're running stuff for them to dip their super faster but you can see people raid weapons which is really useful for this part because all you're fighting is taken and you can see I have the truth which is a good gun yes but it doesn't have that modifier and the only good part about this is the witches I can pop the witch's shield like instantly and let's see, that's one witch. He drops a legendary engram for me, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I got anything good out of it anyway, so. Yeah, three witches here. At this part, basically, it won't move ahead until you kill everything. But the worst part, I don't want to say, is the witches and snipers at this part would be the worst, I think. But let's see. Oh, okay. yeah. 
And there's other guys in here. Always fun trying to get through these tight areas with sword guys that deal massive damage, especially when I such shit flames at you. But the whole strategy for us, we ran in. I know we died quite a bit, but the whole thing we were trying to do is kill all the blights. If you get in there and kill all the blights, it will slow down a bunch of it. So, it's fine. You can see right there where I, I think I had something standing from me and kill me, but that's okay. My team gets me up. I'm going down and get some more heavy. Getting this guy up. But see, I think I've gotten all the blights, but I think there's one way over there, and these knights are tearing into me. Yeah, you'll see me use my rocket. I, I'm, I'm just trying to kill crap at the moment and get these blights. Because my teammates are constantly doing damage. I'm occasionally going over there and shooting the boss. Just I, I'm just trying to get the blights out of there. So, but if you have somebody doing that you'll have a really good chance uh, surviving a lot more, especially if you're lower level trying to do this, not 300. You see I'm doing like my little shots at them. I'm, I'm looking around for more blights and I found one every in the corner. You have to watch out for all the blights. I'm blazing for blights, but they're not our way. The blights will keep the enemies coming in with full force, if you get rid of all of them, it will slow down severely, then you need to focus on the boss. Which if you can't see, I'm working my way around, trying to make sure that I ain't home. And I found that one, so. But this entire time I'm doing this, my team is helping out and actually screwed up here. I think yeah, we're all dead. We're all dead. And I didn't see that blight right there in front of us, so I could not hear get it. But the entire time, like you can see his health there, it's really, really low. And just constant damage. That's all it is, constant damage. He, he's just a bullet sponge. And watch out for the something they got called, but watch out for them. The Centaurian, the Taken Centaurian, they are annoying as heck in this, and this is the part, oh wait, we've already killed them at this part, I lost track where we were, but we've already killed them, and all you have to do at this point is clear ads. You gotta make sure you have enough time to clear everything, like every ad, and this is a think is the last guy. Yeah. And there is my black spindle, guys. And see, you can see it's a daily rope because I got 15 legendary marks. With that, guys, please like and subscribe for more videos. And I'll be trying to get all these out as quickly as possible when I'm able to. And I'll see you guys later.
going to lose her. Just like Ariana. That's Eris. The connection is getting stronger. Strange? I'm picking up a fallen distress beacon. 